Hello everybody and welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2. I'm going to be doing a few videos here and there on our Wednesday slot. It's kind of like a, a one-off or a one-shot slash mini-series during the time between the main games that I'm playing. I've just recently been playing Hyper Light Drifter and I think we're finished with that now. There's still a few things I've got left to do in that game so I may come back to those but we're going to be starting Hotline Miami pretty soon and I'm currently waiting on my artist to finish the character for that series and that's when that'll start. But until then, I think we should just fit in random things. And this is one thing that I've been asked to play a lot. I have done a Risk of Rain 2 series on my channel before, uh, but people have asked me to play modded Risk of Rain, so I'm jumping in. We are playing with quite a few different mods here. Let's see if I can quickly go and, uh, and read through the list that we've got here. So we have um, the Starstorm 2, uh, Tyler 2, Classic items, better UI, and cloud burst. Uh, all items that add new survivors, new items. Um, so I think new enemies, new elites. There's loads of different stuff. Uh, I'm just super excited to jump in and give it a go. So here we go. We're going to be playing as just like a regular old class. I'll maybe jump into some of the newer classes later on. But for now, let's jump in as the Huntress. Uh, let's have a little look what we're going to go with here. Um, normal attack, strafe live and do you know what i'm gonna go with the basic the basic stuff we're gonna play on normal difficulty here um no artifacts and we're just gonna jump in i've done one tester run with these modded items and they seem pretty cool there's quite a lot as you can see on the right there we've got some extra base stats as well uh but yeah we're jumping in to see what we can get going here because i am i'm just excited i'm excited oh my god we blink way faster than i remember been a little while since i've played risk of rain but yes um i've had four or five people um, say that I should play modded and yeah, it's a, this is a game that I love and it's a game that I uh, I kind of intermittently love like I, I always like the game I, th I think the game's really good, but I'll sort of play it for like two months uh, Like a lot and a lot and a lot and then I'll kind of leave it alone for a few months And I'll come back to it and it'll just kind of be back and forth like that It's not a game I regularly play uh, But it's a game that I really do love and when I know when I do end up getting into it I always I always really thoroughly enjoy it and um, I'm playing here as Huntress, obviously, yeah, one of the main characters, one of my favourites. And, yeah, we're going to see what cool items we can get and what sort of things, some little synergies we can do. One thing I'm a little worried about with all these new items is stacking items that you want might be a little harder. Wow, okay. Um, healing past full grants you a temporary barrier. That's pretty good to start. A legendary out of our first chest. Now, we don't have any healing yet, so obviously that's not going to make any difference. We just have the base level of health regen. Um, but what we should hopefully see is if we get a few healing items early on, it should make quite a big difference, and we should get this temporary barrier kind of popping off. I'm really hoping that's the case, at least. Uh, let's open this up. But yeah, we're going to be looking for a lot of new items here. There is a lot to look at, and there's our first one here. On hit, spawn an explosion beneath you if you're mid-air. That's kind of good. On hit as well, not on kill. Considering this character's kind of um, kind of going to be in the air a lot, that seems really good. Seems to have some sort of internal cooldown attached to it because it doesn't always summon the explosion. But I don't know. This, this seems like it could be really, really good. Really, really good. We've got some uh, little selectors here, some little shops. Um, let's grab this as well, shall we? Open up the blue portal. So there's our little teleporter there. That's what we need to um, activate to spawn the boss. But the, for those of you that haven't watched or seen Risk of Rain before, then please go and check out my other series on Risk of Rain. I did it as a part of the Roguelike Roulette series for a little while. Really enjoyed it. I think it's a really good game. And what we got here? Um, we got a fork and we got some sort of card. We've got a lot of stuff here. Um, let's take the little book. See what the book's all about. And experience over time. That's a really good thing to get early on. Uh, leveling up, of course. Um, early on, it's going to be a lot and a lot of levels, but slows down a lot towards the end of the game. But while we're not killing stuff, earning passive XP seems like a really good idea. Don't know how good it'll end up being, but it seems like it's pretty good. Let's hit you. How much passive XP do we end up getting, then? Eh, I'm not oh, actually, okay. I was just about to say, I don't see it going up too much, but I do, actually. What's this, then? By the way, these seem to be the classic items. I don't know why they appear as cards, but yeah. Anyways, let's take this. This was this little weird purple thing. Malice. Damage dealt spreads to nearby enemies. Ooh, that sounds really good. It depends on how much damage it is. I'm, I'm, I'm certain it'll mo most likely be a percent of the damage we deal. 
um, or it'll divide the damage evenly between the targets. I'm not exactly sure. Are you, are you okay there, sir? Seems to be having some trouble. You seem to be having some trouble. We are dealing good damage right now, though. Um, oh, we got a Lunar Pod already as well. Um, that seems to be new. Randomly creates a ward of power. All characters deal bonus damage while in the ward. Randomly creates a ward of power. Interesting. I'm guessing that means enemies can also deal more damage while in that ward. Because it said all characters. And normally the lunar items have an associated downside. So I'm assuming that's what that is. Well, let's have a look. Look, that sounds kind of interesting. I think that's a new item. It is possible that some of these items are from the 1.0 update that I haven't yet um, experienced. Well, I have, I've, I've played since the 1.0 update, but not a lot. So it's possible that there's a, there's a few things in there that I missed. But let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. First of all, we got the Beetle Queen. One of the easiest bosses in the game, or at least it was. I don't know if it's been changed at all. Let's give it a go. Oh, there's our ward. Okay, yes, it does indeed affect enemies. So, as long as we don't have any um, Lemarians in there, or like anything that's ranged, we should be okay. And we should be able to get a good amount of damage out of this. And I like the fact that it doesn't spawn it directly under our feet as well, which means that we can actually use it a little more effectively. Um, ooh, we've got another new item here. Standing still charges speed for your next movement. Ah, okay. So we get a little speed boost if we've been stood still for a certain amount of time. Kind of interesting. Got another one of these here. If this is a modded item, that's a very cool modded item. A very cool modded item indeed. I like the little book that's on our leg as well, look. I love the fact that um, in Risk of Rain, all your items are visually applied to your character. Kind of like the Binding of Isaac. It just adds a lot to the game. It, it, adds, it adds a lot and a lot in my opinion. Um, so that's really cool to see. Let's keep going. Almost charged the teleport here. Essentially, we just got to wait within this big red circle and kill enemies in it, and it'll charge the portal up. Uh, once it's charged, you can see this little blue orb that's going around it. Because we touched this little thing over here, um, this thing, it's going to spawn a blue portal. We can take that blue portal to a, a shop between worlds, which is essentially a lunar shop, um, and that'll let us trade items and buy some new ones. So we'll give that a go. Um, we've got to wait for the portal to spawn. There it is. Jump in here. And we should be able to get, hopefully, a few good bits out of this. I have a lot of Lunar cu currency, because at one point I played this game a hell of a lot. And I stacked them up at real high. Alright, let's have a little look-see, shall we? Zoom! I love the teleporting on that. Right, uh, so here's our Lunar items here, and there's our trades there. So let's have a look what Lunar items we've got. Um... We do have we do have some new ones here. Uh, we have the shard of glass here, which is kind of dangerous. I think it gives us like really really low maximum HP, but gives us really high damage. Could be interesting. Uh, let's let's buy this. It doubles your maximum health. Your movement has momentum. Give it a go. Oh my god! I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this does as well. Drop a lantern that fears and damages enemies for 10 seconds. Give that a go. Yeah, I hate this so much. My god. We're so slidey. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. I mean, w the good thing is, we can, we can kind of stay in the air. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is the worst. <laughs> We need to get massive movement speeds up, but even then, I think that's going to cause problems. This is this is probably one of the worst items I've ever picked up in Risk of Rain. <laughs> oh my god, this is so strange. I mean, it's cool, but like, oh my god, turning on a dime is just awkward as shit. Holy hell, so... Look at this, we can't... Oh my god, no, this is... This is terrible. Let's try out this thing, shall we? We are so burned. The thing is as well, lunar items are really hard to get rid of. You can't really trade them in or anything. You can trade a lot of other items in, but this one... Probably stuck with this one. Basically, we are not in control of our movement anymore, really. Okay, that lantern seems decent. It doesn't seem amazing. It seems okay. 
Right. So, is there always at least one of these up? I wonder if that's the case. There's always one somewhere. Okay, this uh, this little um, thing that's making us the malice, that's making us damage enemies nearby is quite good. The problem with this movement thing is we're, we're not like Commando. We don't have a roll. So we are going to be sliding just all over the place all the time. And without movement, it's really hard for us to pick up momentum. Oh my god. I didn't think it would be like this. It should just say your movement is slidey rather than your movement has momentum. Kind of misleading. Leveled up again. Good. Oh, that's a big chest. 107 we need for that. No. Oh my god. Oh, this is kind of hilarious. This is what you get with lunar items though. You take them and sometimes they are gosh darn awful. It's a risk. What we got here? Ooh, we got golden gun. More gold, more damage. Sounds really good to me. More gold especially. The good thing is we do have a nice like upwards movement ability in our little arrow storm. Barbed wire. Hurt nearby enemies. Is that when I get hurt? Like razor wire? Or is that just when enemies get nearby? I'm going to assume that's just when they get nearby, which is sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Right, let's go find more chests. This movement. Oh, it's gross. Oh, it's so gross. I feel so sluggish. Okay, a chest over there. Oh god, turning is just so difficult. It says I've got three times on the golden gun down below there as well. Oh, Topaz Brooch. Yes, hell yeah. Topaz Brooch is so good. On kill, we get a temporary barrier. Really, really like that. Because we can stack up barriers, especially if we get a few Topaz Brooches. But as you can see, we're not getting duplicates of really any items because there's a lot more items in the game. Which is both a good and a bad thing. It's nice to experience new items, but at the same time, building up some of these overpowered builds that exist in the base game, it's going to be much, much harder, I think. Okay, what we got here? Um, let's let's try out this thing. Oh, we can't afford that yet. 53, okay. Um, let's grab this. Oh, that gave us a lot of money. That was a good amount of money. And we'll drop that down as well. Let's grab this. Increased health regeneration. Okay, that was very worthwhile. Health regen is going to be very important for us. We've got a massive health pool now, so... We want to build up that as much as possible. Okay, kill them two. We're, we're doing good damage, though. Damage here is, is carrying us. Uh, we've got stuns there. Get out of the way of that real quick. I'm going to go for the random one there. I want to go for a new item. Um, I know what this one does, the dice. The dice aren't that good. The dice, basically what they do is when you fail a chance shrine, you get increased uh, critical hit chance. But if you if you succeed, it removes all of the, the, the negatives, all of the bonuses, sorry. So essentially, you have to fail a few times in a row then never touch chance shrines again, which I don't really want to do. My god, guys. Leave it be. We got ourselves the egg. I don't really care about the egg. I'm going to go one more on this. Nice, we got it. There's two backup mags. We got ourselves an item trader down here for crit glasses. Um, I will do this. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take the loss of a backup mag. I'm not gonna do it any more times though. I just want the one. Oh my god, this is so infuriatingly difficult to control. What we got here? Yeah, I want to take a random here. We got ourselves this. Low health enemies receive damage over time. That sounds pretty good too. Okay, right. Where's that teleporter? We, we haven't been down here. This movement. I'm, I'm going to be constantly saying that because this is, this is just nightmare fuel. This is so horrible. I, I Like I said, it might get a lot better with movement speed ups or it might get a whole lot worse. I really can't tell at this moment in time. Oh, really? You got out of the way. That's so fast. Come into my web. Yeah. Oh, I love this uh, shared damage thing. The shared damage is so nice. What you got for me, chest? What the hell's that? Chance to incinerate for gold on here. Ooh, this could be really good. 
If that, if that means we get more gold when we incinerate enemies, that means we've got two synergies that give us more gold. Which is real nice. Should mean a lot of money. Right, where the hell are we? And where the hell is our teleporter? I do not remember. Have we seen it yet? We surely have, right? Surely. It's just such a chore to move. Such a chore to move that I can't really remember. Oh, it's just down here, look. Make our way over there. Oh, there you go. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I think, I think that's pretty much all the items you can get from this stage. I don't see any more chests about. Let's open this up. And Beetle Queen. Let's plop this on you along with that. And that should be a good amount of damage over time on you there. Okay, we've incinerated this this one again. Fire seems to be really good in this game. It always has been even in the base game, so I'm very glad to have that. A little bit uh, scared of the amount of enemies coming at us right now, but looks like we have enough damage to deal with it. Looks like we have more than enough. Yes, we're good. Okay, what did we get? I'll never know. Oh, we got a dagger? What does this do? Chance to cripple enemies on hit. I'm guessing that's going to make them stop hitting us or stop moving, maybe? One of the two. Not 100% sure on that one. But this is so far so good. So far so good. Nice. Okay, got to be careful of the buffed enemies. They could be a problem. I love the fact that you have this little DPS meter in the bottom left as well. It's giving us some good um, some good stats here as well. I like this uh, bonus UI. Very, very nice. But yeah, I don't know how many episodes we'll do of this. I don't know when we'll come back to this. But this will just be like kind of an odd series that I'll throw out here and there. Odd episodes every now and again. And we shall see. We shall see. Okay, I'm just about done with this floor. Let's go. We still don't have a single duplicate of an item. We did get two backup mags at one point, but we ended up giving one away. So that's kind of concerning, but not, not hugely. Not hugely. Right. Started here. Got a chest over there. Quickly just check here. There's very rarely chests in that back corner, but I thought I'd check. I'm getting used to the movement a little bit now. Still a little frustrating, but we can deal with it. Okay. Come into my circle of pain. Did we get three elites right off the bat? That's actually really good because the amount of gold we're going to get and the amount of gold we did get. God damn, we, we get a lot of money. We're on 13 for the, uh, the golden pistol. More health regen. Yes, please. Um, There's the dice again. I don't want the dice. Cautious slug. Rapidly heal outside of danger. I wonder if that get, applies the burner shield, healing over maximum HP. I doubt it does, but... Let's have a see. What we got here? Little mushroom? Little mushroom. Um, I'm willing to try this. It got rid of our deal damage to learn enemy people, but... We got regenerate health while sprinting. Okay, we have a lot and a lot and a lot of uh, healing right now, which I'm very happy about. Okay. Getting through here is going to be kind of a pain with our momentum-based movement, but hey-ho. Look how much money we're getting. Money is just stacking so high right now. Oh my god, getting up here is just the worst. Uh, I can't do it, people. I can't. I simply can't. Right, let's even get ourselves a new active item, maybe. What we got here... Nah, that's not new. Create quant tunnels. Nah, don't need the portal gun. We do need this chest, however. And we got ourselves this. Retaliate on taking heavy damage. Also pretty good. We can get behind that. I'm just going to put that there and dip. Drop that down as well. Try and teleport, but fail miserably. Okay, so we know where our portal is. 
We're still nowhere near search this area, the Rusted Key, unfortunately. Still the bane of my existence, Rusted Key. I never want you. And we got another one of these Molten Coins. Yes. Okay. This... This could be an interesting run with, with the amount of gold we're going to be getting. Two more chests over there. On my, uh, on my practice run, I did get an, uh, an active item that lets me open all chests in a nearby area. So it was really good for moments like this. You were able to open these for free. And you were able to open the chest. Oh, okay, I guess we're getting this now. Uh, able to open the chest on the on the fourth area, or fifth area now, whatever it is. Um, that gives you a legendary, a guaranteed legendary crit for free. It was awesome. Tried to hit these two. Didn't quite work. Where are we at? Is that enough? I think that's enough. No big chests yet. No legendary since that first one either. Sticky Bomb is very good. I will take Sticky Bomb. Okay, I wonder if we're doing more damage at that distance while firing from in this ring. I'm guessing so. Okay, do that lamp. My god, this is actually kind of tough. Health is absolutely fine, but we're just getting overwhelmed and knocked around all over the place. Right, let's go. Right, have we checked this middle area yet? I don't think we have, have we? Let's just quickly do a scan of this. Don't see anything. Probably, that's good. It's good to say, probably get a few chests around here. There's one already. Oh my god. Moving is such a pain in the ass. Another sticky bomb. Can't complain. Ooh, shop down there. Dash! Ooh, what's this? Drop spike traps. Spike trips on being hit, slowing enemies. Okay. So I'm guessing if any enemy passes sort of by where we've just been hit, they're going to get slown. Slowing down enemies is always great. We're going to get frozen here. Luckily, we didn't quite get double frozen. Just about missed with that. Good, good. Crowbar is really good. Another chest. If only we could get to it. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. Love attack speed. Can never get enough attack speed. Up to 419 already after just spending a bunch. Is that loads of molten coins up there? Is that a molten coin 3D printer? Oh, that's nice. That is. Uh, I, will, I will take a few players on that. I don't know what we just lost there. I, I, I'm not paying attention to what we're losing, by the way. That, that'll... No, one more. Okay. That'll do. No, one more. I, I really can't tell what we're losing at the moment. But there you go. That'll do. Chance to incinerate for gold on hit. Oh, my God. This could be good. Right. So, re if we remember correctly, it was up this way, wasn't it? It was over this way. It's going to take us so long to get there, but it was this way. The incinerating for gold on hit could be really good here. Ooh, we missed out on this as well. Um, we got ourselves another one of these. Nice. Double the malice seems really good. Is it down here? Yes, down there. You'd think I'd slide down hills a bit faster, but I don't. You think the momentum would help with that, but it, yeah, it just doesn't. What we got here? Magma Worm. Okay. Probably not the best area to fight the Magma Worm in. A little bit close. Seems to be only one Magma Worm though. Sometimes this, early, uh, this late on it can be two. And we've also got one of these buff areas right on top of us, which isn't great. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely bopped around. Yeah, we're getting a lot of money here. We are getting a lot of money. Oh my god, one moment. Sorry about that, I am back. Let's do this. So we're still killing Magma Worm. If I remember correctly, one second, my chair's falling. Oh my god, this knockback's insane. Knockback's absolutely crazy. Okay, I think we got the Magma Worm. And we got ourselves one of the bands. Nice, the bands are really useful. Oh, which one did we get? Fire Band. 
We've got a lot of fire going on right now, so I'm, I can definitely get behind that. I can definitely get behind that. Let's do it. We have to wait here until it charges the... I think we're, we're doing really well on damage right now, I think. We got a lot of damage going on, which is always good. I'm just, I wanna, I wanna see if we can get another modded active item, because I really don't think that this one's that good. It doesn't seem great. Up to 36 on our little money gun thing. And we are getting a lot of extra money. A lot of extra money. Okay, let's go. Okay, we did manage to touch it there. I had a feeling we were just going to slide straight past it. Up to level 17. I don't really ever pay attention to the level on this, but it seems like we're, we're climbing the levels pretty quickly. That book that we got definitely helped out to, to jumpstart. Wait, what, what the hell area is this? Whoa. Is this modded or is this just a new area that I've never been to? Because this is definitely new to me. I, I honestly don't know, but I love it. Can we jump on this? Whoa, yeah, that's so cool. Okay, I I don't know if this is modded or this is in the vanilla game, but this is awesome. This is a level that I've not been to before, and I love the look of it. Boom. Okay. Quickly get that going on you. Yeah, every time we do that, we get like 20 or 30 extra money. Every time we light them on fire. Please die. Oh, hello. We got some big boys here. Oh, no. Don't set me on fire. Do not set me on fire. Oh, God. That guy's buffed as well. Okay, he fell. He fell. He did hit me while I was midair, but he has fallen. This is so cool. I love this so much. It's always nice exploring new areas. If this is... Like, the, in, in my mind right now, this the, to me, this has to be vanilla. This is too good to be modded. Like, I, I it, it would be very, very hard to believe that this is modded because it's that good. But at the same time, I wouldn't put it past them because people are crazy. Oh, hello. Boys. Oh, my God. There's so much going on. Okay, we did get them all. Where are all the items at? I've not seen any chests yet. Where are all the... Oh, my God. Woo! The amount of momentum that gave us is crazy. Oh, my God. It's so hard navigating with this stupid slidiness. Yeah, genuinely, where are, where are any of the chests? Do we have to go up this? Can we make it up this tree? Oh my god, no, we can't, because we just get thrown off the map. Holy shit, I took a lot of damage there. Okay, there's a chest. I found one. I found one. I'm sure there's something at the top of that tree, but in, I ain't ever going to make it up there. Ooh, we got this again. Standing still charges movement. Wait, so let's see with the momentum base, with the movement speed. It, it doesn't help at all. <laughs> it doesn't let us... Oh shit, hello. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. Okay. We got one of the gamble things, so we might as well play this. Chance to intoxicate enemies causing damage over time. Sounds good. We're getting a lot of, like, on-hit effects and on-kill effects, which is always nice to stack them up. I think that's him being drunk there. Okay. Right, let's jump back up here. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't do it, people! I'm so damn slidey! I'm so damn slidey! It's too much, man. It's too much. How am I ever gonna navigate anything like this? Why? I just... I'm, I'm really struggling to find chests. Okay, is that one there? No, 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 no! No! <laughs> For fuck's sake, I fell again. I just can't move properly. Okay, we, we managed to move properly. I think it's just because the chests blend into the map so well. 
Teddy bear's pretty good. Ooh, we'll take a drone as well. Why not? Did I open that? I did. Good. Another soldier syringe is really good here. That was a complete whip on that. Okay. Got you. I think you're dead. No. No, I need it. What am I on about? Oh my god. Try in the mountain. Heck yeah. Let's try in the mountain it. I like it risky. Okay. Oh my god. The build up of speed is just terrible. Being fast seems like a genuine disadvantage now, actually. Con contrary to what I previously said, I think being fast is actually kind of a curse. Okay. This area seems huge as well, and very confusing. So up to 90% crit. Hey, another active item. What's this do? Sorry. Um, randomly freeze enemies. Yep, love that. Uh... And we got something. Didn't get a chance to read it. Some glowing dust. Okay, up here. Up we go, kind of. Very slowly. Another chest. Because this is where they were all hiding. The side of the map here. Another crowbar. Really good. Okay, I don't see anything else down here. Put No! Don't drop me. Hold me closer. Don't see any more chests. Hmm. Oh, could there be chests in here? Not sure. Oh, we, we keep dropping from really big heights. Let's try and climb this tree again. We just got to jump. Jumping is the only way for us to move effectively. Do not hit me. I will go flying. A chest. I knew there'd be something hiding up here. Fuel cell. That could be pretty good. I knew something would lurk at the top of this tree. I mean, to be fair, this might not even be the top. Okay. I set off the random freezing effects. Okay, I want to take out this guy before we uh, take on our boss, because we've got double bosses, remember? We don't have a ton of single target damage. Hello. Oh my god, this guy's going to melt me. Oh my god. This is the scariest thing ever. Okay, this random freezing seems pretty good. Oh, this random freezing seems very, very good. I'm liking this. But we are not killing bosses very quickly. We don't have any uh, bandoliers either. That's definitely not a big help. Oh my god. Okay, that should hit you. Ah, oh, no, you're a little bit too high, actually. Okay, get out the way. So, okay, being slidey is terrible for that attack. So let's hope we don't get that boss. On our actual boss is what I mean. Okay, there you go, got you. Right, let's do our boss. Let's see how this goes. Please leave me alone. Okay, so every time they hit me, I just go flying. Oh, Stone Titan. Stone Titans might not be too bad. Although, saying that, I think the sliding could be a massive downside against these guys. Because of the laser beams. Oh god, we're so dead. We're so dead. Oh! I just can't move properly. Okay, freezing the enemies, I have to say, is fantastic. It's a really, really good way for us to get things off our back. Oh my god, I just can't escape. Okay, we did. That. We have actually managed to kill one of them already, and one of them's another one's dead. How did I do that while I wasn't there? Oh wait, no. We that was only one of them that we've killed. The other two were just basically inside each other. Okay, keep the freezing going. Just stop enemies from messing us up. Okay, do that. There's one of them gone. Oh no! Ah, the laser. The laser beam scares me so much. Okay. 
We might be able to get him now. Okay, yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, that was that was tricky. That was real tricky. What do we get? Oh no, the daisy sucks ass. We're okay. We're okay. But the daisy does suck ass. And we were, we weren't in the circle for most of this, so we have to carry on fighting. My God, this has been tricky. The slidey movement is making everything terrible. But without the slidey movement item, we'd probably be dead because this doubles our HP and we went below half. There's a good chance we'd be dead otherwise. So some upsides, some downsides. We need um, Wax Quail. Wax Quail would be so good right now. By the way, the music is just absolutely killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. Okay. Yeah, all of our damage effects like on hit effects are basically what's saving us right now. Hmm. Maybe the fact that that's happening, this weird, like, wait, fa phasing in and out. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What just hit me for, like, a billion damage? Oh, it was one of those fire pits. I was stood in it. Of course. Of course it was that, you little stupid. That was close. To the next floor. My god, this has been stressful. We are here now to the sky meta. Right. I do love it that we can just slide around like this. Woo! Oh, hello there. I will get acquainted with him. There's a big, a big wax man down there as well. Okay. Oh, hello. What the hell's this? Oh, it's our item. I was like, is this an enemy? No. Okay, so we know there's a lot of chests and, and shrines and stuff up on top of these little islands. That's good to know, at least. A taser? I wonder if you can tell what that does. Something entangles enemies. Oh, hello. You got a little closer than I expected. Haha, you've been frozen. Be fri freezing them not only stops them from attacking and keeps them in place, it also means they are very easy to kill. Which is just great. Okay, focus crystal, not bad. These guys keep getting a little close for comfort. Okay, let's freeze things again. Seems to freeze things in a pretty big radius too, but all the... I have to say, it doesn't freeze them for very long. But, saying that, I just noticed it can freeze one enemy more than once, which I didn't know. Okay, you've made your way over. Congratulations. Oh my god, we are taking some big hits. It's just, it's just such a struggle getting out the way of things. Like, this this guy is hurting us a lot. I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Good. Okay. We just got a bunch of money. So let's go and spend some of it. We got a lockbox. Jetpack. Increase jump height and reduce gravity. That sounds terrible. The increased jump height sounds good, but reduce gravity... Legendary item. No, it's just the increased jump height again. Fuck, and I think I missed it too. Although, although, I'm pretty sure that negates fall damage. Oh god, this is... I'm gonna die because I can't heckin' move properly. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Having no fall damage is definitely a huge benefit here. I will say that at least. But god damn, this is just scary. And now we can jump really high too. This, seem this seems mostly positive. I actually thought this was going to suck, but... This is making movement a little bit easier. And, I, and I, I do mean a little bit, not a lot. Do we have any chests around here? There's one. Oh no, that's not a chest. There's some stuff over there. Don't get hit by the flying rocks. Okay, now I think movement speed would be good. Wow, he just absolutely yeeted that onto me. I think movement speed would probably be good right now. A wax quail would like, it is like the god item for our movement right now. It would save us. Being able to jump this high and push ourselves forward with every jump would be awesome. Fork, deal more damage. Do you know what? It's a basic item, but I respect it. Right, 
Let's keep going. Any more chests here? Having the slide ability as commander would be just so damn good right now. We can kill stuff relatively quickly when we're focusing on just one thing. Any chests up here? I didn't actually see. There's a turret. Unfortunately, that's it. Hello. That's a lot of chests down there. That's a... Wow! That is a lot of chests. Oh, God. The enemies have caught up to me. I don't like this. I just want to open my chests and leave. One moment. We are back again. Cool, let's go. So, this is kind of... No! 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 <laughs> Don't get hit by the metal... Oh, that guy just jumped off and killed himself. Do not get hit by the metal balls. Good to know. They fling you real far. Oh, wait. If we get hit by one of these rocks, we're going to go miles, aren't we? Personal shield generator, not great. Oh, for God's sake, go away. It's not your time to shine. How is there so many chests here? What do we get here? Standing still grants bonus armor and critical chance. I have to say, no, no, no. This is majorly annoying you being here. How did you catch up to me? Okay, freeze everything. Oh my god, I hate this so much. <laughs> yes, that's good. That's good. Okay, ow, ow, ow. Give me my fireworks. Fuck this. Did I get the item? I did, I did, I got it. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, fireworks is actually kind of nice. Rusted key is fine. H what health are you on? Okay, you're on about half, actually, which is more than I was... What's this? Oh, resonant disc. Um, I actually can genuinely say that I don't really care about either of our um, legendaries because they're just not really doing anything. This overkill shield is not procced once yet, I don't think. And the jump height is... N Oh my god, we're dead. <laughs> oh, the mini mushrooms. Oh, that's so annoying. Either way, that was a really fun little romp into some modded Risk of Rain 2. I'm sure we'll do a little more of this. Like I said, this kind of like a one-off type mini-series thing that we'll be doing just in the intermittent period between uh, main games. Hope you guys did enjoy this, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.